Hello guys, Zanjay here and welcome back to a new video. So this is going to be a video about the MSI G271. We are going to start off the video on an interesting note. We are going to figure out whether we can notice, me and Aryan can notice the difference between a 60 Hertz monitor and 144 Hertz monitor. Let's change the refresh rate or maybe not change the refresh rate. And let's see if I can notice a difference. Uh -huh. Car change. So we are using RTX 36, uh, 3070 by the way, uh, so that we do not get any bottlenecks. So currently it's giving out 180, 190 FPS. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Arc ban kar liya to thoda ye na 144 hi lag raha hai. Lekin main 60 bolne ka man kar raha hai. Abey yaar. Ye na 144 final. <laughs> 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 Ah, 60, 60, bachi, lock, lock, 100% lock. <laughs> Easy way. Uh, now I'll tell you what the issue is. So I, when I got the monitor, I, I, we have it for like three, four weeks now. I don't remember the exact date, but I used the monitor at 60 hertz refresh rate for first one week, and then I shifted to 144 hertz refresh rate, and that's why I can notice a difference. We have one monitor which is. 60 hertz monitor and then this monitor which is 144 hertz monitor and we keep switching between the monitors because we edit one project on another pc and one project on this pc so it's like it's noticeable that this is 60 hertz i do not even have to play the game uh so this is this is 60 hertz right mm. final answer okay one last 144 hertz 144 hertz guaranteed uh ruk, 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 ruk. B site में जाके देखता हूँ। ए नहीं 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 अरे यार अभी किधर रहेगा? हमेशा 144 के ऊपर रहेगा मतलब this game like this game it's noticeable that this is 144 hertz refresh rate. Let's see if Aryan can notice a difference. Come on, let's go. So Aryan uses a 60, 60 hertz monitor at his home and a 60 hertz monitor over here as well in the office. Final 60. डाला ना? ठीक है सर. Correct. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. Final? Final 60. Okay, correct. Hmm. Easy. It's 144. Okay. Right. Now, let's bring on someone who doesn't really play a lot of PC games and let's see if he can notice a difference between 144 and uh, 60 Hertz. Let's go. Put up. Yeah, just Shubham. So this is Shubham, our main camera guy at the moment. Uh, now, let's see. He doesn't play a lot of PC games. He doesn't do mobile gaming. Play. W A C. Sixty. क्या आंसर तेरा final? Sixty. Sixty लग रहा है? ठीक mm. है. First answer sixty. Lock कर दे. Same. Same है. ठीक है. अभी बंद कर. हम्म. वो sixty लग रहा था ये. नहीं ये वो one forty वो लग रहा था ये sixty लग रहा था. क्या है आंसर क्या दे रहा है ये क्या है ये क्या है वो बता ये 60 लग रहा है भी वो 144 लग रहा है भी अभी एक वापस कर दे चल ये 60 है देखते क्या जवाब है तेरा परफेक्ट हाँ अभी एक लास्ट अभी फाइनल देखते चल ले ये 144 है so I'm glad I introduced you to Shubham because he doesn't play a lot of games. So we were able to notice Aryan and me between 144. Like even if you would have kept it at 144 and constantly, we would have no noticed it. Aryan noticed constant 60 hertz, but Shubham noticed 144 hertz at 60 hertz. But when we shifted for the first two times, but when we shifted to 60 hertz, he, re he realized that, oh, first two times were 144 hertz, not 60 hertz. So yes, you can notice a difference when you move from 60 Hertz to 144 Hertz. That's totally possible and you will notice a difference. There is 
very much noticeable difference between 60 and 144. If you talk about 120 and 144, then maybe it's difficult to notice a difference because there is not a lot of difference, but 144, it's more than twice of 60. So yeah, let's talk about some other features that this monitor has to offer in the rest of the video. Now it's time to talk about all the other things that this monitor has to offer. First of all, let's start with the box content. So in the box, you're going to get the monitor itself. Then you will get a stand, one HDMI cable and a power cable with an adapter. So basically this monitor does not have inbuilt uh, AC to DC converter. It has a separate adapter, which is not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing as such. It's going to be personal preference. If you have a lot of cables in your setup, then this is one extra cable and one extra adapter that you will have to adjust. Otherwise, usually if it's a single cable going into the monitor then it's just one single cable not a con but just something that i wanted to mention if you want to change some settings on the monitor then how do you do that there are no buttons because there is a dedicated joystick which is easier to navigate through the menu and menu system on the msi is very easy to navigate through and very easy to understand as well but if you are someone like me who doesn't like uh, the hardware buttons or navigating using a joystick you want everything under the software section then that's possible with the MSI toolkit application which can be downloaded from MSI's website and that's such a, such a good application everything can be controlled from that application itself I would highly recommend you to install that application when you decide to buy this one next up let's talk about the build quality so you do get a stand inside the box itself the stand is very sturdy and holds the monitor very well if I if I do like this the monitor if I pitch it or but even in the front it it won't fall back you will have to use a lot of pressure basically so the stand is very sturdy no complaints over there uh, one complaint that I have here is that the monitor is tilt adjustable so this can be controlled on the monitor but if you try to adjust the height then <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not possible. You cannot rotate it 180 degree if you are a coder and you want to use 144 hertz monitor, then you cannot really do that. That's a downside in my opinion, if you are someone looking forward to do that. So you can use a visa mount and maybe you can have a three monitor setup as well. The monitor comes with one display port, two HDMI ports, one headphone jack port and one power in port, which is used for the adapter, which I showed you guys earlier. Um, that's pretty much it for the number of ports that it has to offer. 144 hertz refresh rate is obviously supported with the ports, uh, just in case if I did not mention that. Now the monitor has matte finish at the backside and it goes very well with the matte front. And one of the major reasons uh, for going with this monitor was matte front. All the other monitors that we have in the house, one is from BenQ, one is from Samsung. Those are also matte finish ones and this one also has that matte finish meaning even though there is window opposite to it uh, so this reflection that you can see this is after the matte finish being there if it would have been glossy it would have been so much reflective very very reflective so having matte finish always helps us and we personally prefer to have matte finish over glossy finish and this one has it now 27 inch variant with 1080p resolution is it bad does it have pixelation is it pixelated if you look at it very closely then does it look bad then frankly speaking my opinion is going to be that i have been using a 27 inch 1080p monitor for last five years probably now so i'm used to that resolution so if you are someone who is used to that 24 inch size with 1080p resolution and shifting to 27 inch you will notice those small pixels when you pixel peep on the monitor definitely that's going to happen because th there is a size difference i did not notice any difference because all the monitors that i use currently and we have used in the past are 27 inches and 1080p only is there any screen tearing issue while playing games no no, no none that we faced on this monitor we played csgo the earlier test you saw the test as well the monitor performs really good i feel like at the price of 20000 rupees this is probably the best performance that you can get out of a monitor at 144 hertz refresh rate not just that we don't do gaming only we edit videos and we do a lot of color correction and we used this monitor itself for that and there was a reason why we chose to go with this one 144 hertz refresh rate is good and all but you need to have good colors as well in order to edit videos or in order to do a little bit of color correction so the monitor has 120 percent srgb wide color gamut is supported 178 degree viewing angle this is an ips panel meaning even if i view it from this angle it will still look good. 
no issues over there so ips panel 178 degree viewing angle srgb rating and the colors do look good on a gaming uh, monitors usually if you go into the game mode then the colors look very saturated and the greens are boosted uh, or reds are boosted something like that happens but with the normal regular mode or custom mode everything set at 50 the monitor looks really really good i definitely have to give huge thumbs up to msi for making sure that the display is creator friendly as well if you change it to game mode or if you change it to some other mode then the colors will change and that's because you are in a different mode if i set it to user mode with my personal setting the colors which i like then it works very well anti-flicker mode is inbuilt into the monitor one important thing that we need to talk about is ips glow is it there how bad is it is it good is it bad so for ips glow i was actually surprised uh, that ips glow is there uh, that's going to happen with ips panel but it is uh, kind of minimal monitor comes with freezing support out of the box but freezing and anti-motion blur do not go hand in hand so you will have to use one of them i use the rtx 3070 so i mean freezing doesn't make a lot of sense to me so i use anti-flicker mode for me personally and i guess that's much it for this particular video if you are looking for a very good content creator plus gamer monitor which also comes with 144 hertz refresh rate and has very good display panel and display quality then definitely msi g271 is the monitor to go for the best buy link for this product will be present in the description box below i i have been using this monitor for past three four weeks now and i'm very happy with the monitor and uh if you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding the monitor, you can ask them in the comment section box below or you can tweet it to me at direct dhananji underscore tech. If you have any other monitor suggestions that you want me to review in the future, let me know about that in the comment section box below. Whenever we upgrade our next monitor, we'll probably buy that one so that we can review it on the channel. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this particular video. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.